Enter the world of tragic tales from the 2024 lottery winners, where unfortunate events as well as good luck combine in surprising ways. Come along as we reveal the compelling stories of those who hit the lottery, but then had to deal with unexpected setbacks. So get ready for an engrossing trip into the specifics of fortune, sorrow, and the human psyche as we explore these striking experiences that surpass the odds and fascinate the senses. The Case of Jose Antonia Cuatac For Jose Antonia Cuatac, an undocumented immigrant trying to make a better life in Georgia, circumstances came together in 2010 when he found out he had a $750,000 lottery ticket. But instead of feeling joy, fear took hold of his heart. Being undocumented, he struggled with the constant fear of being deported that threatened to overshadow his newfound prosperity. Quadac negotiated a deal with his boss, Eric Cervantes, to have him pick up the money on his behalf in an attempt to avoid this dangerous destiny. Quadac had no idea how much betrayal lay ahead of him. Cervantes took the prize for himself in spite of their agreement, snidely claiming that Quadac had only bought the ticket as a favor. But in the ensuing betrayal and legal maze, justice eventually won out. Equipped with the unquestionable evidence obtained from security cameras, the courts decided in favor of Kwatak in 2012, regaining his legitimate claim to the windfall. The story's lesson? Answer the door when opportunity knocks, and uh, perhaps get some legal support. In the end, succeeding in life is more about playing it smart through to the very end than it is about pure luck. The Zagami's Trash to Treasure Sometimes, the most unexpected places reveal gems hidden in the maze of life's twists and turns. Consider Joanne and Joseph Zagami, whose routine grocery shopping trip became an incredibly moving story of tragedy and redemption. They happened upon a scratch-off lottery ticket while doing the routine task of supermarket shopping, a brief break from the everyday grind. They had no idea that fate had given them a lucky break. The ticket was unintentionally thrown away, tucked away among the ruins of their errand. It was lost in a moment of inattention, cast into the anonymity of the garbage can, along with forgotten trinkets and documents. However, fate, it seems, had other plans. A glimmer of remembrance broke through the curtains of forgetting in the still hours of dawn, and the Zagami set out on a last-ditch search among the wreckage of the past. They found their redemption among the clutter of everyday existence, a glimmer of hope among the muck and odor of abandoned hopes. At that point, the everyday became legendary, and the ordinary became exceptional. Therefore, take this story as a warning, dear traveler. Always stop in the middle of life's chaos to pick through the debris, for hidden among yesterday's ashes may lie the seeds of tomorrow's victories. Ron Yerkes's Forgotten Fortune The story of Ron Yerkes serves as a sobering thread in the unpredictable nature of life, a reminder of the value of being alert even in the middle of the ordinary. Take a moment to remember a warm August day in 2012, when Yerkes, like many others before him, bought a lottery ticket to forget about his worries. However, as days grew into weeks and weeks into months, the ticket vanished from view, buried beneath the clutter of day-to-day -day existence. Only until the cool November breeze flew the dust from his desk did Yerkes discover the long-forgotten remains of his short-lived dreams. When he casually wondered why these digits were ignored, he tried to solve the puzzle, only to discover, shimmeringly, that a million-dollar wealth had been dormant for three long months. A timeless truth resounds in the wake of Yerkes's oversight. Sometimes, in the middle of life's chaos, we should peek behind the curtains of forgetfulness, because there is potential for immense wealth hiding in the quiet corners of our hectic life, just waiting to be discovered. John Ross Jr. Lottery Winner to Legal Woes Even the greatest strokes of luck can't always erase the darker tones of misfortune in life's rich fabric. Examine the peculiar instance of John Ross Jr., a Californian whose encounter with fate led him from the joyous peaks of lottery victory to the depressing depths of legal complications. Ross imagined a new chapter in his life, one in which his lack of car ownership would be a footnote to his tale of newfound fortune, in the heady aftermath of a $2 million windfall. However, it appears that fate had different intentions. 
In a terrible turn of events, Ross was accused of a crime that seemed out of place and unanticipated, helping to steal an automobile. He became entangled in the complex web of accusations. The irony of Ross's situation lingered in the air while the wheels of justice moved. Here was a man who was about to get free of his car, only to be imprisoned behind bars in a prison cell. His hopes of freedom crushed beneath the rough stones of bad luck. As John Ross Jr.'s eventful story comes to an end, let it serve as an important reminder that sometimes the numbers we get aren't the ones we expect in life. Even while good fortune can provide us with a little relief from life's hardships, true wealth comes from making moral decisions and having a strong inner strength. Thus, may fortune always favor you, may knowledge serve as your compass, and may the depth of your experiences, which money can't purchase, be the measure of the journey. Evelyn Adams For many people, winning the lotto is a dream come true and a tremendous stroke of luck. However, some people like Evelyn Adams, who twice found herself luxuriating in lottery wins, think that luck is a bottomless well. Evelyn, a New Jerseyan, was so lucky to win $5.4 million in lottery winnings in the 1980s that she could not believe her good fortune. Her numbers had shown on the board twice. She was suddenly thrown into an unbelievable world of luxury, where she could satisfy all of her desires with a single stroke of her pen. Evelyn's kindness was unrestricted at first. Eager to spread the happiness that had unexpectedly entered her life, she showed her newfound money to friends, relatives, and even complete strangers who happened to cross her path. However, underlying her apparent altruism lay a temptation, one that was stoked by the splendor and flash of nearby Atlantic City. For Evelyn, the draw of the casinos was too much to ignore. She could feel the excitement of the risk, the sound of money clinking, and the bright lights calling out to her, promising even bigger riches than she already had. But luck is a fickle mistress, as she would soon discover. Evelyn's fortune decreased with every dice throw and lever pull. Millions gradually evaporated as the casino floor's greedy appetite took hold of them. Evelyn, however, was unwilling to give up a lavish way of life to which she had grown used, even while her money account was depleting. Evelyn Adams' story serves as a warning today, showing that luck is finite despite appearances of abundance. However, among the fading wealth and the reminders of her past, there's still a flicker of something more, a proof of the human spirit's resilience and the gamble's timeless appeal. Michael Carroll a demolition derby. Whenever someone wins the lotto, their first instinct is usually to invest their winnings properly. However, Michael Carroll, a 2002 winner of the 9.7 million pound British lottery, found it impossible to resist the attraction of extravagant parties and exhilarating adventures. Rather than putting his money into more conventional assets like homes or schooling, Carroll decided to live a lifestyle befitting his newfound wealth. He planned to throw lavish demolition derby parties where the sound of motors roaring and metal smashing together filled the air, using his fleet of fancy vehicles. For those who don't know, a demolition derby is a violent competition in which drivers purposefully crash their automobiles into each other until only one is left running. The turmoil of the battlefield rivals the pleasure of victory in this destructive display. Carol's extravagant behavior didn't end there either. He lived an extravagant lifestyle that placed him in jail several times, squandering his riches on drugs and women. Carol's money was reduced to nothing but crushed hopes and unfulfilled promises, just like the automobiles he gleefully damaged. It's difficult to overlook Carol's downfall's symbolic meaning. His love of devastation reflected, in a sense, his own heedless disregard for the fortune that had come his way. Carol's excesses left him with nothing but regrets and a warning to anyone who dares to dream of easy riches, much like the wreckage of a demolition derby leaves nothing but twisted metal in its wake. Etta Mae Urquhart Etta Mae Urquhart had been a devoted California lottery player for almost 20 years. She bought tickets every week in the hopes of winning a life-altering sum of money. After 18 years of waiting, her perseverance paid off when she discovered she had a winning ticket for an incredible $15 million. In a state of shock and bewilderment, Urquhart took a step that would ultimately result in a devastating betrayal. 
She gave her son, Ronnie Orinder, the responsibility of signing the winning ticket and collecting the cash on her behalf in a show of trust and familial loyalty. She had no idea that this act of faith would prove to be fatal. Rather than following his mother's instructions, Orinder recognized a chance that was too good to pass up. He betrayed the woman who had raised him and sacrificed their relationship for his own benefit when he grabbed the ticket and shamelessly claimed the millions for himself. Burkhardt had to endure a terrifying ordeal as a result of Orinder's deception. She acted decisively after realizing that she'd been betrayed by her own family and had suffered the terrible loss of her legitimate winnings. Urquhart fearlessly faced her own son in court as she fought for justice through the legal system with courage and tenacity. Urquhart's persistence ultimately paid off, even if her fight for compensation was not an easy one. She successfully sued her son for fraud and abuse in a historic case, retrieving what was truly hers and holding Orinder accountable for his despicable actions. But even in the face of justice's victory, treachery leaves grave wounds. The broken trust and strained family ties are an upsetting reminder that in the face of enormous money, even people closest to us can give in to greed and dishonesty. Ultimately, Urquhart's story functions as a serious warning, a heartbreaking reminder that winning the jackpot might not bring just riches, but also unexpected difficulties and heartache. It emphasizes the harsh truth that nothing is guaranteed in the chase of wealth, and even the closest familial ties can be put to the test and severed. Billy Bob Harrell Jr. The story of Billy Bob Harrell Jr. started off like a fairy tale. In 1997, a man from Texas won an incredible $31 million. Abruptly, he was pushed into an incredibly wealthy world, where fantasies could be purchased with just a pen click. Using his newly acquired wealth, Harold set out to better the lives of the people who were important to him. He realized the dreams of many lottery winners by investing in homes, vehicles, and charity contributions. Nevertheless, as they say, easy come, easy go. Harold had the greatest of intentions, but his spending habits quickly got out of hand. What had begun as prudent investments quickly descended into an extravagant frenzy as he lavished presents upon his loved ones and lived a lifestyle of luxury far beyond his means. Harold felt overwhelmed by the responsibility of handling his unexpected money. The previously straightforward Texan was thrown into a world of financial expectations and complexity, where every choice had a million-dollar impact. As the months went by, Harold's facade started to break. His once unlimited optimism gradually gave way to despair as friends and family watched helplessly as he battled to keep up with the demands of his expensive lifestyle. Harold's mental health suffered as a result of the pressure of overseeing his wealth, clouding his once promising future. Tragically, the man who was once the talk of his neighborhood turned to suicide less than two years after his lottery win due to the extreme strain. The grim consequences that come with unexpected fortune are brought home by Harold's story. Although the appeal of extravagance and luxury might be seductive, there are many traps and difficulties hidden beneath the surface. In the end, Harold found that the assurance of financial stability was a double-edged sword that brought him suffering and hopelessness rather than happiness and contentment. His premature passing is a heartbreaking reminder that real happiness is something that cannot be purchased, regardless of one's financial situation. And so, Harold's legacy is a depressing warning that material prosperity and contentment are not the same thing. One thing is certain as the dust settles on his terrible story. Winning the lotto may get you a lot of fancy stuff, but it's not guaranteed to make you happy. Jack Whitaker When a series of lottery winners made the headlines in 2002 for all the wrong reasons, West Virginian Jack Whitaker was at the center of a cautionary tale about excess and bad luck. Whitaker's life abruptly changed after winning an incredible $315 million Powerball prize, but not in the way he'd anticipated. Whitaker had seen financial success prior to his lotto victory, so he was no stranger to money. But the temptation of unexpected wealth proved too much to resist, and he began to indulge recklessly and extravagantly. 
Whitaker, like a contemporary Gatsby, was drawn to the lavish world of strip clubs, where booze and money were freely exchanged. The wealthy frequently patronized these kind of places, but Whitaker's exploits were on an entirely new level of extravagance. Whitaker spared no expense in his search for pleasure, showering the dancers with lavish gifts and leading a luxurious life that would make even the most seasoned high rollers blush. He had bundles of cash burning a hole in his pocket. But in the end, Whitaker's tendency for living dangerously would prove to be his downfall. In an act of breathtaking stupidity, he carried a suitcase filled with an incredible 545 grand in cash into a West Virginia strip club just because he could. Whitaker had no idea that his excessive show of wealth would draw the attention of sly criminals who thought there was an opportunity too good to pass up. Whitaker was unfortunate enough to return to his car and discover that the suitcase was gone, stolen by thieves who had seized their chance when his guard was down. However, Whitaker's bad luck story didn't end there. The management of a strip club were accused of trying to drug Whitaker and steal his wealth in an odd turn of events that brought attention to the risks that hid behind his lavish lifestyle. Whitaker's version of immense wealth had swiftly turned into a nightmare filled with loss and treachery. The formerly well-known lottery winner struggled to accept the harsh facts of his newfound wealth and discovered the hard way that material possessions cannot provide happiness or protect a person from their darker tendencies. Whitaker came from his rocky path as a figure of caution, a grim warning of the dangers that come with sudden wealth and uncontrolled excess. His experience serves as an alarming signal that despite the attraction of wealth, excess can have disastrous consequences. William Budd Post III When William Budd Post III unexpectedly won an incredible $16.2 million jackpot in 1998, his life took a drastically different turn. He unexpectedly found himself in the public eye and a celebrity, but little did he realize that his newfound riches would have both benefits and drawbacks. Sadly, Post discovered that even people closest to him could have bad intentions. This was one of the hardest lessons he ever had to learn. His own brother tried to hire a hitman to kill Post and his wife in a shocking betrayal as part of a larger plot to steal the lottery prizes for himself. Even though the assassination plan ultimately failed, Post was left with severe wounds from betrayal, which permanently broke the relationships of trust. But Post's difficulties didn't stop there. He was soon negotiating a maze of financial difficulties and personal issues despite his newfound wealth. Trying to manage his riches proved to be too much for him, and he made a number of poor choices that would follow him for the rest of his life. Post's once enviable fortune abruptly vanished in a horrible twist of fate, leaving him engulfed in debt and hopelessness. He was made to file for bankruptcy and watched helplessly as his hopes for financial security vanished, sucked whole by the ruthless teeth of destiny. Post was involved in a court dispute with his landlady, who sought a whopping $5 million of his earnings as unpaid rent, which only made matters worse. Post's decline into poverty was further cemented when he unwillingly turned over a substantial chunk of his declining riches, unable to bear the crushing weight of his financial commitments. Post, in need of a new beginning, took comfort in the prospect of starting a new firm in an attempt to reclaim the success that had before appeared to be within his reach. Unfortunately, though, his hopes of recovery were blocked when the company finally collapsed, putting him perilously close to financial ruin once more. With time, Post's life shrank to a ghost of its former beauty, tainted by the shadow of dashed hopes and unfulfilled promises. He tried to break free from the grip of fate, but he was unable to break free from a pattern of suffering and tragedy, and his once bright future was overshadowed by ominous clouds of sorrow. Ultimately, Post's story serves as a moving reminder of how fate is cruel and the terrible consequences it may inflict on those who are unprepared to face it. His story serves as an upsetting example of the brittleness of wealth and the brutal truths of human greed and betrayal. Even though Post may have been a victim of his own achievements traps, his legacy lives on as a beacon of caution that steers people away from greed and onto a road of humility and fortitude.
In the end, these tales teach us, wealth fades but character lasts. So let's bet on integrity and love. It's the true jackpot of life.